right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to learn how to connect filament together. Have you ever ran out of filament in your AMS and you put a new roll of the same color and everything in there and you always can see that little line in the print ruins your whole print um, from being perfect. Um, that's happened to me several times and I'm sure it's happened to you um, a couple of times. So our friends over at Sunlu sent me their new filament connector. And they also sent a lot of filament for us to try out. So we'll check it out as well. Um, but with this filament connector, you can um, take the spool things that everybody has printed out to, you know, rewind their spools. You can use this filament connector to add that last little bit that was on your roll onto a new roll or onto a roll that may not have it or connect a couple of times so that you can um, use that last little bit on the roll without getting that line in your print. So I thought it was a really, really cool idea. They asked me if I would do a review on it and I said, heck yeah. So they have sent it to me. They haven't paid me for this video. They have no editorial control over it. And it's just a little box like this. Um, so I thought today we would learn how to connect filament back together and um, check this little filament connector out from Sunlu. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. <laughs> All right, so here we are on Sunlu's uh, website. Um, make sure you take advantage of this. Um, it's 35 bucks for this little thing, it's not bad. Um, the pre-sale period starts today when this video comes out on the 14th of July, and it runs through August. You'll see that they have um, bundles with random PLA, um, multicolor silk, rainbow filament, all of these things. So you can buy a bundle with some filament as well as the, um, you know, filament connector. So let's see what they, um, are talking about with this. So zero waste. So I don't know how many of you guys have, um, you know, thrown away just a little bit of a roll of filament because um, you don't want to get the line that it leaves when you have to change out the uh, rolls. So when you know that, you know, that last little bit, you know, it's not going to be enough. This is perfect for that. You know, if it's just a couple of feet left on there or a couple of meters, you know, it'd be easy to fuse this with a new roll and um, not have that crazy looking line in there. Um, you can also do some creative DIY multicolor printing. So you could, you know, fuse together certain lengths of different colors and um you know make something really cool and unique that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise um you know another thing that you could do is if you were going to print something that you were going to paint you know you could just string together a whole bunch of small little um you know different colors and everything and print something out and since you're painting it anyway it doesn't matter what all those colors are so that might be you know something that you do with the, if you have a bunch of these sitting around um you know make something like that if you're going to paint it or if you want that cool creative multicolor effect there um it does say that it's pretty quick at doing this heats up in you know a couple minutes and it only takes a couple of seconds i believe um to fuse it together it works with pla abs petg um they did send me a couple different versions of pla and i do have a couple of um rolls of pla from them so we'll check out a couple of different plas and i do have a roll of petg um so we'll check that as well safe design easy operation we'll check that um, out visual operation built-in window and display screen for real-time monitoring of the fusion process so we'll check that out as well efficient welding and excellent results so we'll see if you have to tinker with it and do a whole bunch of stuff and stand on your head and all of that to make it work or if it's just super easy to do so i haven't tried it yet so we'll you all we'll learn together in real time i'll let you know if it's easier if you know it's kind of a pain in the butt um, so here you can see um, it's real tiny little thing. You saw the size of the box. It's not all that big, but here you can see, you know, adding a couple of rolls of filament or adding some filament to a roll that doesn't have a lot. Here's the time that it takes to do some of this stuff. So, you know, we'll be messing around with PLA and PETG. We have, um, you know, used ABS on here before as well as PA and PC. 
Um, but it doesn't take much longer for any of these. It's just a couple of minutes, right? Heat up time is about three minutes for PLA, and then it takes seven to eight seconds to melt it together. Um, the longest one is the PA and PC, takes five minutes to heat up, um, and it's nine to 10 seconds to uh, put it back together. So this, you know, under five minutes for most stuff, um, to help recycle and to reuse and to do some creative stuff. Not bad at all. All right. So all of this stuff, right? We can, these are, I have a ton of these little things from other filament manufacturers laying around. So I'll be using that for this, but you look, this is a really cool design, really neat idea that they have. Make sure you go over here and check this out before um, it sells out 34, 35 bucks for this is an incredible value. Um, so I would make sure that you jump out here and grab this. Um, I think it's going to pay for itself, you know, over a couple of months, just by all the, um, filament that you don't have to throw away. Um, so make sure that you take advantage of this, if this interests you. So now let's jump back in the studio and let's start welding some, uh, filament together. All right. So here we are. You can see the size of this thing is smaller than my hand, which is pretty cool. It's not that large. <clears throat> so I have messed around with it a little bit. It isn't quite plug and play you probably will need to adjust the temperatures it starts at 185 for pla i have found 200 to be the um trick at least for the rolls that they sent me from sunlu the other thing that i will recommend is to use scissors and not these filament clippers that you might have received with other printers or stuff <clears throat> reason being these um kind of pinch the end of the filament and it makes it hard for it to weld it together and i kept having um the filament break apart and when i started to use scissors it put a straighter cut on the filament and made it easy um to weld together there so first uh tip is to use scissors and not the little filament cutters um the second tip is i as i mentioned i did raise the heat a little bit to help it weld a little bit more and the thing you might be wondering is under here is like how do you keep the filament aligned do you have to like hold it in there and you don't it comes with a bag of these and you basically put you basically put the filament in this little thing and that's what keeps it lined up so the first thing that we'll try to put together is some of the filament that they sent me with it in the first is this PLA 2.0 in white and this PLA 2.0 in orange. So I already got it put together and I have it in the little alignment thing and you can see um, the edge of it right there. Um, so where you see the split going, you want to make sure that this stays together as you put it in the uh, connector. And then you'll see a little line on the heating pad and you want to line um, that connection up with it. So we'll go ahead and open this up and you'll see that there's a little line right there and you need to line up where you're joining the filament with that. So bear with me as I try to do this in the camera. And then once you have it aligned, you just click it down and a few seconds later, we'll hear a beep. And then we'll take it out. And you want to let it cool down. So now we'll take some of the PLA meta that they sent me before to test with the uh, S4. And again, I'm going to clip each end with scissors so it's nice and straight put it in the little alignment tube set it in there and click it and it just takes a couple of seconds and you do want to be careful don't pull on it or anything and kind of take it out and let it uh, cool off a little bit so now let's raise the temperature 
up to the um, PETG, and that one I did raise the temperature as well, up to 225. So let me get a piece of that ready. All right, so I have a little bit of clear PETG from Sunlu as well. So now we'll wait three seconds. We'll hear the beep. We'll take that out and also let it cool. All right, now that they're cooled off, let's go ahead and check out the progress here. So the first step to tell whether or not this worked is by getting this little thing off because it does take a little bit. So you can pull on it, it's pretty good. I'm pulling as hard as I can right there. And even bending it, you gotta bend it a couple of times and I'm still pulling on it before it will break. It will really weld it together. But you do need to cut with scissors first. Um, that's what gets the good weld together right there. Um, so let's take a look at the PLA Meta. You know, same thing on that one. I'm pulling as hard as I can. And then let's take a look at the PETG. Oh, yes, yeah, the same thing on that one. I'm pulling as hard as I can. Now, if you bend on the, on the joint enough times, it will break or whatever. But as far as like pulling on it, um, that's okay. And why I think that's important is if you have a bamboo um, printer, then it's going to be pulling it through an AMS or whatever. So it needs to be able to take some pull strength. And I, I will say that it does. So you'll see here on this roll of filament, I took about a foot or so. I'll tighten that back up of the PLA 2.0 white. So just like we did in this test here and I welded it on there um, with the same settings and everything. And it's pretty, it's pretty good on there. Um, I will say with this being so small, it's really easy to kind of position this where you need it um, to weld the filaments together. So that's a really big plus as well. I actually found it easier to do uh, this addition to the roll than it was to do the smaller pieces because these wanted to move around a lot more. Um, so being able to just move this thing and um, get it to where I needed on the roll to weld that together was super duper helpful. Um, so, so far this is pretty good. Um, I would say that you probably need to raise the temperature of stuff, at least for PETG, I found 225 to be helpful. For PLA 200 or even 205 uh, might be helpful. That's just what I found um, in my studio here. Your results may vary. Um, but that's what I found here. Um, so now let's go ahead and get this loaded into the AMS and we'll print one of our little sample prints and we'll see if it can go through the AMS and print with uh, both filaments being welded together. So let me get this in the AMS and then I'll meet you in Bamboo Studio. All right, so here we are in Bamboo Studio and you'll see that I put it in the uh, second AMS so that it has to travel the furthest distance. I'm not trying to help out that weld at all. It did um, load and everything like that. Nothing broke apart or anything like that. So it seems to be good to go from here. Um, so let's change this to the right setting for the prismatic plates. We'll go ahead and slice this and I'll go ahead and get it printed out and I'll see you when it gets done and we'll see if it can actually do it. All right, so here we are with the one that ran through the printer and as you can see, went through there just fine. Didn't have any issues with it separating or anything like that. Um, so it worked really, really well. Um, so this thing, it it works really well once you get it set up. You know, the couple things that you need to keep in mind to make your life easy with this is to use scissors and not these things. I was not able to get one welded together with these. 
every single one that I've done with scissors has worked up to this point. Um, so definitely do that. Adjust your temperatures, the temperatures that they had, um, you know, set preset for theirs and it could have worked in their lab or whatever. It didn't work for me and my temperatures may not work for you. Um, so definitely keep an eye on that, right? Um, so scissors temperature, and then pay attention to the alignment and the little line that is in the middle where you want, um, you know, the two pieces to come together, make sure that like the winding of both, um, spools or whatever you're connecting is going together if it's different whenever you pop it out like that it's going to want to move and it's still really hot or whatever um, on the joints so you'll mess up the uh, the weld by doing so so make sure that you follow the same circle or whatever and when I was adding the filaments to the roll once it came out of here I made sure to kind of loosely wrap it around so it, it, the even where the weld was it kept that same little bend and i think that helps with it running through the ams and everything so the other question that i had um you know going into this is yeah you can connect one and it worked just fine as you can see but will it do multiple ones of these and the answer is yes and it puts a really cool i could see a really a lot of really cool ideas that you could come up with by doing this, especially on uh, vases. I think this would be a really cool trick to do on vases to do multi colors throughout there if you wanted to stack some colors kind of randomly on there. And it takes a lot less time to just add some filament together that in here than it does to set it up in uh, Bamboo Studio and um you know go through all the filament changes and switches and everything like that this printed in the same time as this one and the same time as any of these um, that i've ever printed before because it didn't do any color changes um so this can add an interesting effect if you don't need like precise control of where all the lines and everything are um and i was able to connect two of them so some of the benefits of this is you know you can save filament um, by, you know, combining your old rolls of filament. So stop throwing those away and just connect it to your new roll like I did here. It's very easy to do. You can um, do some cool designs like this. And um, it also can save time in doing some of those designs as well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, this will be launching um, on the day that this video releases so be sure to go to the website and get one of these for yourself it's really cool really easy to use as long as you follow those three uh, tips that i gave you be sure to smash that like button and uh, smash the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video i hope everybody has a good rest of their weekend and thanks for watching mm -hmm.